Okay, in this example, we're going to graph negative x to the third plus 2x squared minus x. So the first thing we want to do is factor it because it's not factored for us. So I'm going to pull out a negative x, and that's going to give me an x squared minus 2x plus 1 when I pull that out. And then I can factor this further and write this as x minus 1 times x minus 1. So this tells me I have x-intercepts at 0, 0 because of this factor here, and it has a multiplicity of 1. And I also have an x-intercept at 1 with a multiplicity of 2 because I have that factor twice. My y-intercept is 0. If I plug in 0 for all my x's to see what I get out for y, that's going to give me a 0 for my y-intercept. Okay, in my m behavior, if I look at my degree, my degree is 3, and that's an odd degree, and I have a leading coefficient that's negative. So when I draw this, I'm going to have arrows in the 4th and the 2nd quadrant. Because I don't have any unusually large numbers here, I'm just going to do it on a scale of 1. Okay, so I have a y-intercept at 0. I also have an x-intercept at 0 um, and an x-intercept at 1. So I'm going to start at my left arrow. I'm going to... For 0, I have a multiplicity of 1, so it's going to slice straight through the graph. And then for um, 1, it has a multiplicity of 2, so it's going to bounce back and come down this way for this arrow here and end in the fourth quadrant. Now, again, I want to keep stressing to you that this is just a sketch. So when I draw it, I don't know if it dips down this far or this far. All I know is that it dips down in between 0 and 1, and then it bounces back. If I want to be more accurate, I would have to actually plug in a point between 0 and 1 for x and see what I get out for y. So I could plug in, like, maybe a half and see what that y value is, and then I plot that point, and it would be more accurate, and I could see how far down it dips. But since we're just doing a rough sketch of the graph, I'm not going to do that. But if you want to practice that on your own to see how far down it dips, you can do that. And so this is our final sketch, and of course you can go ahead and plug that back into your calculator, the negative x to the third plus 2x squared minus x, graph it, and you can do it on the standard viewing window because it's not un unusually scaled, it's just on a scale of 1, and you can make sure that the, the graph that you have matches the graph that you sketched.